gets high tier and then spark controversy like yeah. for that character's like placement and, and that's like, why I just tell people even then some characters have really good matchup spreads too it, it could it's it, they may not be top tier or or you know high tier but they can still have a pretty good matchup spread it just depends on how the character design oh, works against the majority that's of the a cast. super valid point yeah uh case in point that's kind of like what i tell people about some other characters they just have a better matchup spread against others uh, I personally think Link has a pretty solid matchup spread. That's like a character that I main. So I just tell people, I think he has a good matchup spread. He loses to characters that he will rightfully lose to, but he's also still being able to go even at worst with some of the characters that you would think he'd lose to still. Uh, that being said, of course, we do have uh, Ike Tyson coming up next on stream against his opponent. Uh, his opponent, of course, they are looking to choose uh, different stages. And that's what I like to see here is proper stage fight. If you're not gentlemen PS2, you, if you sin, so just gentlemen PS2, trust me, there are some things you have to worry about. You, if you thought Ding Dong was something to be scared about, you gotta worry about Ike having platforms. Oh, especially yeah. on a stage like Pokemon Stadium 2, especially on a stage with platforms. And I think that's what his opponent has to definitely look at. Yeah, um, you know, of course, like we're playing, we're here playing Smash Ultimate, but uh, back in back in the days of Smash 4, uh, I tried uh, my hand at learning Ike for quite some time. And Ike Tyson, and I believe in Georgia was Yeah. yeah. Uh, those two were some of my favorite players uh, to watch back in the day. And transitioning into, uh, you know, Smash Ultimate, like, Ike has seen some tremendous uh, buff altercations. I, I so. love what they did with Ike going from Smash 4 to Ultimate, but not only just the character's buffs, but the character's change. Like, that new opera was one of my favorite things to watch, but also his ability to just go for Tomahawks and Nan. Ike was so good off the game from Smash Ultimate that people thought he was one of the best characters because of how, yeah. because of how good MK Leo was able to play the character. Yeah, I remember. And also, speaking of uh, threat on platform, Monte with the uh, Game & Watch. This character can give any, it doesn't matter who you're playing, this character has the ability to be the some degree. Yeah, the character is, as, uh, me being, me coming from a card game background, uh, this is what I like to call an anti-meta character. The character has a really good match spread against yeah. a lot of the characters in the meta. Yeah, against everything. he just has that sort of kit that he can exploit you in some way, it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. The one thing for here for Ike Tyson, that spacing has to be on point. That neutral has to be well understood against this character. Because if you're looking, unfortunately with him turning land, getting hit by a few uppers, that's a small juggle. I do like that Tyson doesn't repeat the mistake, comes back. I do like that attempt at a cross up or just trying to get around Game and Watch here. But unfortunately, that quick draw will get land into Monty's hands with that down smash. Yeah, unfortunately, this is another thing that we were just talking about where uh, Wade just plays, you know, sometimes a favorability for the opponent. Um, and you can see he's very smart about what the brothers do is fastball on each of them. But I kind of was extremely patient in his uh, recovering from the top uh, just to come back down back to stage. Yeah. Uh, he was super smart about it. Um, that that set was probably a little committal and I like, think not because I'm more upset. that. Uh, but I believe right now they're just kind of killing each other around. Because I can also kill know, uh, fairly quickly uh, from that. Yeah, even though you do low. see Monty with such a big lead, like, I can get one up there, one air train combo, and that'll be enough to get for him to tie the score. And I, I honestly want to say it takes about two to three air train combos with how light Game of Watch is. So Ice, Ice and has to look at how he can play that neutral here, and he is able to get that dash attack. That wave line on the platform here gives Monty a little bit of time to hit him with the up air, and now Ike trying to find his way back on the ground. Able to do so, no air hit, but I do like that now he's looking to just try to with punish Monty for being in the wrong spot here and trying to be aggressive. Unfortunately, Tyson not able to get much here. He is able to score there, almost getting that upper, which would have been nice, because then he can start to look to juggle Monty. And that's what's so good about that new Ike up there coming out from Sm the difference between Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate. Yeah, so, um, you know, since making the transition to this game, I haven't played uh, Ike too much, but one of the people were saying that uh, he received uh, a nerf that was in the form of a buff with the uh, the nair. Yeah. And people were saying it doesn't have quite, I don't remember if it's as much of a, uh, like a fetish box or what it is, but like I heard like just there, like it doesn't quite. Yeah, the, he the, he the thing about I care is even if sometimes it feels like a nerf, that buff could be enough. I do remember when they nerfed Captain Falcon way back in the day and they ended up being an indirect buff because of you being able to fall into things here, but for Tyson here, Falling, he's falling into a lot of these uprights, looking for a landing with grab here. And for Tyson, he's looking to just, that's what I like about it here. He's looking to just try to stay patient and seeing if he can whip punish Monty, but also space him out with swords. That's the one thing that a character like Game Watch can struggle with, because he's really good this way. 
And I happen to have the sword. It's a pretty solid district here. But he's looking for these upsets. He's looking for these nasty here. But like I said, Game Watch is so strong as an anti meta character that he has a really great matchup spread against the meta, but also a pretty solid matchup spread against characters that you don't really see in the meta. And Ike happens to be one of them. Yeah. And, like, I get to suspect the way that uh, the Ike has was playing for the majority of that match. You know, you could see him, like, really, really calculated. He, he was patient in a lot of the right ways. But there were mm -hmm. some interactions where he went for a bit too committal of a move. Yeah. And he was able to just get punished from lag alone. That's the thing, too, is, like, because of the Game of Watch is one of those characters that's so frustrating to play against just because of, like, his down smash combos into forward smash. Oh, his nair yeah. is so big. He's able to stall himself out with bucket. His up air is combo into another up air. His get out of jail free card. Yeah, he has a, yeah, he has a get out of jail free card that is the up beat. But that's why we see Tyson trying to implement that kind of game plan against the character is look for the whiff punish, look to see how Monty commits, look to try to space himself around the character, look to try to even force Monty to go for an arrow and then go for some kind of cross up here. Town, uh, town, this here, Town and City might be the better stage having more space to move around Game of Watch versus Battlefield where you had less space here, even though you did have platform extensions as a possibility for both characters. Yeah, definitely. Um, and both characters are going to strive, uh, at least I, I personally think, uh, on this stage. Um, one of the things that uh, Ike has uh, for this stage is obviously, you know, that incredible, uh, consistent size disjoint. So he can shark under these platforms as they change in and out uh, from this. But with the different platforms, different, uh, different heights as well, those oh. disjoints from him are also going to be horrific. But that forward air, the bomb. Uh, he's gonna have a lot of room uh, to play with that on this Yeah, stage. and that back air is so tough too because it sends Ike off the stage here, but in particular it starts to force him into only having quick draw as a get up option. And in terms of like getting off the ledge, and at that situation of how far he was, Monty had to stalk it regardless. I would have had to work for a lot here, but I do like the spacing here, just trying to hold center stage, gets the snare, can he get that juggle? No forward air, that forward would have been good just for stage position because it puts up the, the edge guard at the very least. Monty continues the onslaught here. Good for Tyson here, looking to just get a little bit of space. He's trying to find something here. He doesn't want to fall to hit the shield and then get hit by Game of Watch up beat. Because that, when that happens, then you start to really feel the pain of the character. Right, like you can tell when he's like being patient as opposed uh, I don't know if that was bad DI or I don't think that was. Oh, I felt like that was a mix of just Ike buffs and pretty much Game of Watch being pretty light. But nonetheless, here, Ike Tyson looking to cash that out here because he's looking for any opportunity here to just get into game, game three. All right, Monty with the back throw. I like that from Tyson. Ops for an early quick draw instead. That's a grab. That's an up air. No, I do like the change for forward air. Just to try to read the DI because your opponent might be trying to DI away. And that's what Tyson is looking for here. But that'll also get his opponent off the stage in which you can start to edge guard him that way. Yeah, Monty has him now in the... Oh, wow. Oh, the interaction. That was a very interesting interaction. Um, but I can see as uh, they were playing around that high percent stock that uh, Monte's actually kind of pushing them to uh, shield a bit more, dropping a lot more bombs because he's close by. Uh, he just needs to shield them to get a grab um, like he did earlier. Yeah, Tyson trying out for a nair if he can get anything, but unfortunately that wow. from Monte will be so that was the That was the only one he threw out. Yeah, yeah that was the only one. I, oh, God. And, I, and it's what? Such, what are the chances? <laughs>